Hello, this is High Templar with my new Total War Warhammer Legendary Eye for an Eye campaign for Beastmen. And in last turn we have destroyed Kamendum and the army that was stationed here. And I was uh, thinking about destroying those guys. They don't have any more armies here. Maybe they will recruit a new one or they did recruit a new one, a lord here and they're starting to recruit something but that's it. They do have a one slightly beaten up ar army here. Not in here yet, from what I can see. But it will be, it is somewhere here replenishing. And the other big one is here, trying to defend the Utengard, which is fine with us. We will raid some more, which is necessary for us to get an, you know. Oh, here it is. They are not even replenishing. Maybe we will be able to catch them. Anyhow, I kind of want to... I kind of want to make uh, Malagor attack and uh, Kazrak sit... Sorry, not this one. Sit this one out, basically. Right. So... I will attack and then I will force my Bryher to attack and with the other one I will just, with Kazrak I will just move to, I don't know, to make some pressure on them and replenish some and maybe build some buildings, why not? Yes, obviously we have no chance of doing that. I mean, I, I pr I'm pretty sure we actually would win it, but... Because that would be open field battle and those mortars would not count for as much then. But let's have a reinforcement from there. Those guys will be a huge reinforcement for me and at the same time... At the same time I will be able to summon another Isaigor, which I would not be able to do you know, if there was another, if there was another army, what I'm mostly afraid of is that if I would come here, the only units that will show up would be like those guys, and they are pretty beaten, and I would rather have Saigor than those guys. So. Let's basically move here into hidden encampment and we will be finally replenishing some. It's two more long turns to the full moon. You are attacking this place, right? This place. And what can I do with you? 16. That growth is plus 18, so we have still pretty nice growth. Here we have plus 17. And this one is actually with all those buildings with decreasing upkeep. We are only now minus 430, even though our second army is not raiding, so that's great. Right. So what can we build? I guess we can build this or this. No, we don't have money for either. Which makes me sad. Wait. Did I build... No, I didn't build upgraded Shaman Darkling Council. I will. I should. Damn it. I will next turn. We have to finish those quests. I can finish two of them very quickly. I need to get Dark Common to Frota, which is just here, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Recruit Bray Shaman, I'm on that. And Scarge Gorble in the Northern Dark Valley. This is just here. But I need him for this battle right now. And I cannot take a Gorble from this army because, you know, 17. 
On the other hand, I can recruit stuff here. Those guys are not so expensive and they are decent in combat. I kind of want to get a lot of minus, <laughs> but uh, I will probably need him next turn because I don't know what this guy will do. Maybe move force march himself. I might need the second army just in case. So yeah, I'm going to actually get some, you know, low, lower level troops something sturdy but cheap I have enough of other guys here and I will get them more minus don't worry about that just not at this very moment I will merge some of those units probably and we'll have full moon which I will probably want to get a replenishment and fight these guys right here Replenishment would be very nice indeed. Yeah, I feel like I've moved everything. Tell me you are reinforcing. Tell me you are reinforcing. Alright. So they are chasing me. A lot of jumble sleds, a mutated current subination. Wow, those guys are actually in the Beastman tabletop army. Has been found. Unit experience plus three for four turns. Bestial Rage. We should be okay with Bestial Rage. I mean, Malagor will upgrade his right now and he should get a Breinhardt after this battle actually plus 3 to unit experience is not nothing yeah I'm going to summon the beast we will get you up, don't worry about that. Who's leveled? You leveled. You have many limbs, you don't have... let's give you a chariot. Let's definitely give you a chariot. It will be even better in the one day when they will buff chariots. Supposed to be Yep. I can actually support them in this battle, but like I said, I won't because I want them to be... I want those guys to be... Yeah, I can take them on. Don't worry about that. I can... I can more than take them on. They only have 5 unit range units, one knight and all those cannons. They do have lots of halberds though. So I will have to war with I will have to be very careful about my melee engagement. But if I can throw enough stones at them, I won't have the Volv though. But I will be able to summon Saigor. Which one's better?
yeah post brighter blue still minus four we will get it we will get the Briarheart, not next turn, but maybe in two turns, but we will get it. Let's fight it. Mortars have a good range, but not that good. If I can summon my Sigars and try start to throw rocks at them and put my gamble. Seven is not acceptable. I need my yeah 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 much better yes. So we are obviously deploying right here. Let's put you actually here. As you can see, my my melee force will lose to those guys. What I need to do What I need to do is to take them down with the hands, make them run away from the main force and take them down with the hands. Right, so we have Malagor here, he will summon next Saigor very soon. I'm going to need those spheres. Just in case of those guys having some funny ideas. My monstrous units No, you can't be eight. You must be seven I guess in the back for now. I have a chariot. Chariot would be great in this battle. are pretty beaten up. I'm gonna put them on the flank. Those guys are in pretty good condition. So are those guys. So now I have a resemblance of a fighting force. That's going to be more or less okay. I will put you here. Have uh, my range force is pretty beaten down. That will be a problem. Yes, my monstrous units will be just behind them. With all those minus giants and everything, should be fine. You will be tense. Yeah. 
I don't know what to, where to put you actually. I guess here to support the army. I do like those guys. I need the nine for Sigars. The rest of them I will have to manage by hand. Right, so let's start this battle. They are not moving, which is very good. Very, very good indeed. I am getting my mojo running. And then I should be able to throw some sticks at them. Alright, Malagar, summon the additional Saigar. You still can do it without... <sighs> for a long time, not temporarily. Which is obviously great. I will replenish my mana in the so-called meantime and I will meet those guys on this ledge. Should I... Should I bait some fire from the mortars? They aren't moving, these are the Empire Knights. They have a very nice position for kicking them in the butts. This is the mortars. We should have better range than the mortars. Should have. Yeah, actually, guys, let's move slightly forward. And they are attacking, which is where my Warhounds coming in. I will need those support and I will need you to be fighting those guys. Retreat, retreat. Tigers, attack the center of this formation. Please destroy those spearmen for me, actually not you. Crossbowmen die, please, for me. Full attack, shoot them.
Come on, kill those guys here. Kill them quickly. Halberds, halberds. Trees, go on skirmish. Wanna go go here. Chariot, go out of there. Destroy those guys here. Kill those guys here. Chariot, you already lost one guy. Right. Oh, that that are spearmen. Okay. It seems that we mopped this up pretty quickly, indeed. Whether it was best, I'm not good at managing such a small battles, uh, such, such a big battles. Sorry about that. So there is a, I always have a problem with that. I lost one chariot, which is not tragic. Could be better, obviously. What are the losses? Samuel Gorble, I had to tank with him. Minimal losses on those guys. Very good. Obviously, my infantry suffered as always. My centigars with great weapons did suffer quite some losses. Need to make sure I am running after nice units with everything. Yes, you chase after them. You can chase after them. Those guys will not harm you anymore. I should have put Summon Saigor at the very front. I mean I did, but he didn't got you know as much damage as I wanted. I wanted him to tank more. It was a mistake on my part, but well. Oh well. Everybody's wiping very, very nicely. Should have used more devolves, I know, I know. Costed me nice chunk of my forces. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Six hundred deaths mostly in my infantry. Very nice kills. 
and their mortars did nothing. As I mentioned, that was decisive victory from what odds were telling me, the auto result was telling me I would lose. Only 2700, come on! Come on! Winds of Magic, I like that. Slag skin, weapon strike for Lord Army, oh yes! Much yes! Should we advance a bit or should we push forward? That's the question. Those guys will be able to support me for the Middenheim if I wish so. And I feel I do wish so. As you can see, the fightiness will not be an issue here. I might lose those guys. On the other hand, oh shoot, will not be that much of a problem actually. I can. What's your range? Not likely. Really? Here. If I go on normal stance, I can like barely escape you, but you will catch me because of this army, which is still not replenishing. However, I will not obey. you cannot get here. Right. Absolutely not. You can get here. You can get here. You cannot get here. I refuse. Hello there. Yes, that puts me on some pretty negative income, but I am keeping that army away while I am destroying the Middleheim, which I am, I guess. I mean, they only have a garrison. Can't really pass opportunity like that. Yes, you are slightly beaten, but you will be fine. I will not obey. And that would put me on the... Also, you can't move you. Oh, no, you can. Well, that's fine. We will deploy you next turn. Full moon next turn. We should have something fun to do next turn. Let's see what will happen. Shall we? Actually, do I need them for this? No, I don't. They have great swords. I don't need them for this. I can take it right now. Let's do this. They have those guys, but I will have Manticore. They have walls, but... They don't have cannons. Let's fight this battle, actually. Let's see the fall of the Middenheim itself in this episode.
Yes, I am worried about this hand, those handgunners. Those handgunners will be a problem. However, with the combination of the Manticore and my spells and my archers, we should be able to take them on. I will have to hide my one military unit. Let's gamble, that's not even a half. Come on! Gambling never pays. Well, ah, that's fine, we will. I love that map. Looks like some water here. Although the real siege of Mindenheim should be, you know, that castle, <laughs> really. Uh, okay. Let's siege the other way. Alright, so you will be once. You will be tense. Oh, yeah, I will keep you close. You will be trees. And I will use you. You will be tools. You will be my backup. Oh, you have to be here. You will be force. You will be right here. Kazarak will be out of this battle this time. He will not be making a huge entrance this time. You will be eight. And you will be nine and I will hide you right in those trees. Actually, I will hide you also in those trees. Come on, here. Trees. We have great swords on the battlements, which is amazingly good. For now at least, obviously. Let's make sure those guys are here. We are already sieging those guys here. I don't need leadership. I do however need this little spell. And I will have to wait for Arcane Conduit, I guess. What's here? Those are swords? Those are great swords. Let's stand here and wait. I'm not in too much of a hurry. If you know what I mean, Arcane Conduit. Gate how damaged. Those guys have lots of ammo, I'm not worried about that. I'm running Arcane Conduit, I can cast one more not overcasted and I will still be able to summon Manticore pretty soon. How those great swords are feeling? Probably not so great. Pun intended. What are those guys doing here? I actually forgot about them. Right. Take this gate. 
and cut on. And I have some kills. This is against great sword, so I'm going to have to say stop firing at all because there is very little health left on you. And I'm going to charge in. I'm going to support here and then I'm going to charge win with those guys and then support with those and then go back both Gorbul and the rest of you guys here And then another one here. Yes, yes, guys. I want you out of there for a moment. Let the Manticore take it over for a moment and then charge into those great swords again. Nicely, another flock of doom. Right, retreat. Retreat. And now is the time to boost our defenses. I don't know where the hand gunners are, probably there. I have broken through that gate. Destroy those hand gunners, will you? Six. One more flock of them should solve it. And you go back in here and destroy what's left. And the goal also. Right. Yeah, I feel that was tactical like hell. I like that. Go here, go into the battle. And I will actually have another flock of doom if I wish to do so. And do I wish? I, I think I wish. I only need trees. Where is the rest of you going? Where's my Manticor? Kill those guys. Doggies. And around this moment, pretty much anything for the attack.
let's scout the center area because those guys are gone we do have halberds here I need you guys here, right here Very nicely, very nicely indeed I will need some more of your Friends. And we've won already. That was pretty amazing victory if I can say so myself. Don't you feel this way? And we caught them. And Kazrak is coming from the other side with my Reshan both on chariots. That should be very, very painful indeed. That should be very, very, very painful. Getting some additional points. Yes, I do believe that was uh, pretty well executed. That is my opinion. But then again, I do love those siege battles when the guys don't have lots of range units. It's all over. Now just imagine that this will be just the start and then you have to storm this bridge. There is some cannon there and then all the way up to this great castle on the hill that's just down there. That would be amazing and the map is already here. I mean partially yes but So we are getting decisive victory with only 179 deaths. And most of that is on those uh, frontline troops which will recover pretty nicely from this. Yes. I do like that battle. I do like how it turned out. And quite obviously we will uh, raise it. And that will give us money finally. And this will give me a lot of nice armor for my troops at the very nice and missile resistance also. Very very nice indeed. And Kazrak himself will go freakish mutation even more than apocalyptic. Here you have and then apocalyptic visions and then I will try to one two so it'll be what twenty three four five so I will have seven more points to do something about it I will do no I will have very few points because I will have to do a slack skin because it's a must and then I don't know. I mean, the best skills are here. I won't be able to get it, but 
the Savage Beast is amazing, N Unnatural Thirst is amazing. But you ha cannot have a guy who has everything here and, you know, decent here and is a monster also in fight. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way actually. But Apocalyptic Vision is so good. Either way, this is it for this episode. I hope you like it. If you did, press like, comment if you will, and see my other videos. In Total War Warhammer, I do mechanics and DLC, speculation analysis videos, and I do Let's Plays in Total War series and other games. Thank you for watching, and see you later.